Right, I'm back in the UK and we did a video when we were in France trying to get in the underground car park about lowering the car. And a lot of you have said, Simon, you're way too flash with all your computer gadgets. Just let the air out of the tyres. Not a bad idea. So in this highly technical experiment, we are going to graph, let's get this right, vehicle height on this axis versus tyre pressure on this axis. And we're hoping to see as the tyre pressure decreases, the vehicle height decreases. So let's have a go. So what have we got set up here? We've got a piece of aluminium because we're back in the workshop. We've gone more high tech. We only had a bit of wood in front and we've got still our laser height measurer. We've got the car in access mode, which is the lowest mode. We'll show you that quickly. And it is matching what the vehicle said it should be pretty accurately actually, isn't it? So I'll put my laser measure there. There you go, measure. 1.928, it should be 1.93, but we'll forgive it that fractional difference. Right, so that is our base reading, right? And the tire pressures you'll see are 36 PSI. So that gives us our first point on the graph. Now what I'm worried about, because we have to think about these things, is if I start letting the tire pressures down, will the car decide it's sort of going squiffy and try and adjust itself. So we are going to disconnect the battery so the car is absolutely brain dead and it can't adjust anything. Because with the battery disconnected, everything's fixed. Now it's worth noting that the way the vehicle does the vehicle height measurement on these cars is there is a, a, a sort of sensor and it's on a little drop arm and it's a sort of variable resistor or something. And as your body... If you put extra weight in the car, it it the body goes down and the angle of the sensor changes, but it only goes like from the wheel, from the axle to the to the car body. So it's only measuring the distance between effectively here and here. So it's measured. Now lowering the tires isn't going to affect this distance. So the car should not register any change. It's because it's just going down here. Right, because we all know tires. When they go flat, for some reason, they only go flat at the bottom. Right, let's disconnect the battery now. Oh, before we disconnect the battery, let's just jump in and show you the screen. So, um, right, let's, we don't need to start it. Right, so let me grab a camera at this here. So we have got it locked in the access mode. And if we go into the vehicle dimensions here, you can see it thinks it should be 1.93 which is absolutely cool and correct. So let's disconnect the battery and start our measurements. Right, so we've just, let's just check. We've got the battery disconnected. Let's just check it's the same again. Okay, check we're repeatable. Ooh, 1.931. Let me just, let me check. I'm, we need to make sure we are repeatable with these readings. 1.929. So maybe we ought to read. Let's see how repeatable I can get. Let's do it at the same place every time. Let me steal your pen, Alicia. Let me. Oh, oh no. Let me try and. Let's try and get as much variability out of this as possible. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, what have we got? 1.93. So we're in the ballpark, but. We're looking to save three centimeters. So most garages are 1.9. So we're three centimeters, about that much, higher than we want to be for most people. So can we get the three centimeters? This is surely going to pick it up. Right, so Alicia, you get on the tire gauge. We've got our ARB pressure gauge here. Right, so get that on Alicia, get that gripped on. Now we're only going to do the rear, okay? Right, now so the reading is, whoa, where's my camera going? Right, 36. So Alicia, we haven't done this yet, but see if pressing that side button, you can let some air out. All right, where is it? You need to get it at 34, I reckon. We're gonna do it in twos. There. There, right, so let's have a look. So that's 34, right, Alicia's gonna go and do the other side now. Um, yeah, that is pretty good on 34. And then we'll take a measurement. You're getting the idea this is going to get boring this video now, so we'll, we'll, we'll join you again in a minute. So that is, we've just dropped that one to 34. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a couple of readings, but... Right, 
1.927. So it has dropped it three millimeters, right? So we need 10 times more than that. Right, we're gonna keep going now. You don't wanna watch this and we will join you when we're down to something more interesting, but we'll do our little figures as we go. Right, Alicia's let them down to 26 PSI. So from 36, we're now down to 26 PSI. So let's have another measurement here. Right, okay, so we're at 1.922. So, which is actually the same at 28. So we'll plot the graph, but let's, let's, um, let's plot that and let's go keep going down and we'll join you again when we're at Oh, something much lower. What are we at? So we're at 26. Let's, let's join you again at 16. I don't think we're gonna get three centimeters out of this. Right, we've just measured 18 PSI, which is getting pretty low, and we are at 1.906, so we're six millimeters off. Alicia's now taking it down to 16 PSI. Let's have a look what the scores on the doors are now. Right. 1.903, we're three millimeters off. Let's keep going. So while Alicia's doing that, a couple of things have come to mind. So obviously move your foot, Alicia. We can see the tire is starting to bulge a bit now. Um, different tires are gonna respond in different ways. So what have we got in here? We've got the 20 Michelin tires on it. If you've got off-road tires, the sidewalls might not bow like these do. And also if you've got the 110, it might go lower quicker because you've got more weight in the back and so obviously the the tire is actually a spring so the more force you put on it the more the spring is going to compress so we need to think about this a bit and remember we're not doing the front we're just doing the back and you can start to see it's looking a little bit sort of lower at the back right so what, what are we on now let's have a look tire is it's hard to see but it is bulging a bit now at the bottom um I have to get a good angle on the camera, but as I look at it, it looks pretty, pretty bulged. Right, Alicia, let's have a look. Have we got that last three millimeters out of it? Let's have a measure. Hold it there. Right. Let's have a look. Have we got to 1.900? Yes! Look, we've got to... Well, oh, it's, it's shot down, isn't it? 1.889. So all the benefits seems to be right in this last bit. We'll take another reading just so we've got it lower, but yeah, it's getting pretty scary. Remember, you've still got to drive into the car park and along at this. So we'll take one more measurement, maybe two more, just so we've got the graph and be interested to see what shape the graph is. We're down at 10 PSI now, which is nothing really. You can see the tire looks flat now. It doesn't look flat on the camera, Alicia, but no. it is looking flat. Um, it is flat and we are down at 1.863 so we're so we're, we're actually three centimeters below where we need to be so we're going to go up to the office now and plot these figures into the chart and let's see what the graph looks like right so here's the graph we've plotted it out so basically you can see that in the first 10 psi we dropped we dropped the pressure tire pressure here we didn't fall much in height at all and then the second block of 10 psi look we absolutely drop load so it's a non-linear graph for those that are interested now if we need to get to 1.9 meters in height this is the line here now by my rough extrapolation you need to jump drop the tires to about 17 psi so that's kind of low so and it might be different for different tires and it might be different for the Land Rover Defender 110 and it might be different if your mother-in-law is in the back etc etc but there you go that's quite an interesting little mathematical study there um so you can achieve the 1.9 because at one point in the video I thought when we were going along here I thought we we're never going to get there but you can achieve the 1.9 meter height if you are completely stuck but um, I take no responsibility for any result of you doing that. But hope that helps and good luck with that.